I started surfing in Durban, South Africa, on the beach flat in 1964 uh, with a friend's board that I borrowed and then my father had to buy me my first surfboard which he hated and he did not like me surfing at all because it was a little bit of a rebel sport in those days. Uh, when I, um, I was into shoe designing, my father put me in a shoe designing manufacturer uh, factory and I won a bursary to go to London for three years on a contract with the company. But I did not like uh, London so my friend and I took the money and we went surfing in France and around here in Europe. And, and then in the interim we met some famous shapers and people like Jerry Lopez, Mike Diffendurfer and a whole bunch of the same kind of people while on our travels and I took an interest in shaping surfboards and then went back to South Africa and they, were, and they had no one to shape my board so I started to do it myself especially after Jerry Lopez took me to Hawaii and I bought my own planer and went back to Jeffrey's Bay to begin a career in designing surfboards in 1970. The most inspiring surfer that I've ever shaped for with feedback positive and knows what he really knows what he's talking about is Kelly Slater back in 1998. He came into my ex-partner Cyril Budd, who is the production manager here in our factory, and we spoke a lot about surfboard design, curves, fin design, fin placement, and what a surfboard does in the water in this modern era of today. I have many funny incidents in my life, believe me, but one of the classic ones was coming back from Cape St. Francis to Jeffreys Bay in South Africa in the night time after surfing all day, perfect eight foot waves, and my friend thought the river was the road. And we drove down the river until the Mercedes Benz went down and down and down and down, and we had to walk home in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, Pukas has been very much a part of my life in the last 15 years. Since before that, I used to do a lot of shaping in France. I did some shaping in Brazil and I lived in Hawaii for eight years. Australia for five. When I went back to South Africa, uh, Miguel came down to South Africa on holiday with his wife and saw our operation there and wanted Pukas to expand. So he convinced Cyril and myself to come here and expand the company together and the feeling here is as a family business, it's a family feeling, and everything seems to happen at the right time, which is the kind of company I like being involved in.